Hi everyone, this is Commander Vale from the Challenger Learning Center here to do some more STEM at home with you. Um, here are some of the materials we're going to be using today, all household items or things you might already have. And today's topic is going to be how to do some science activities with your toddler. And this was inspired by my two-year-old niece, Abby, and my sister Jackie, her mom, has done little science experiments with Abby at home, and Abby just loves them. She even will, will tell us she wants to do science. So I thought that would be a cool idea to show you some easy science activities that you can do at home with your little one or toddler, because it's never too early to start that. It's never too early to introduce your young one to science and all the wonders that surround it. So we're going to do three activities today. The first one is called Exploding Colors. Um, the next one, we're going to make a volcano at home. And finally, we're going to do fireworks in a jar. So stay tuned for those three STEM activities that you can do with your toddler. So for our first toddler activity, we're going to do something called Exploding Colors. How I prepped this was I took this pan and I lined it with baking soda at the bottom. I used a spoon to just smooth it out because mine was a little bit clumpy. So I made a nice smooth layer, about you know half an inch or less thick with baking soda here. And then each of these cups is, is actually a cups of vinegar and I put, I have four different types of food coloring so each cup has a different color. And then I have this dropper or pipette, this one's a pipette. And now I have colored vinegar that's going to react with the baking soda in the pan. So you can help your toddler use the dropper or the pipette to get the vinegar in. Now you might want to use slightly shallower cups than I had. Okay, so I'm going to get some in here. And then as I put it into the pan, it reacts with the baking soda in there to make a little burst of color. And it fizzes and it's really cool to look at. So you can do it um, if you have different droppers or you can use the same one. You could even experiment a little bit with mixing colors, which will happen if you use the same dropper. So your toddler will have some fun um, putting the vinegar into the baking soda and creating some really cool artwork as well as learning a little bit more about science. Use whatever colors you happen to have. And you could do this over and over again. When it gets full, you can get a new pan and put some more baking soda on it, or else you can get rid of that baking soda and start, and start new. For our next toddler science activity, we're going to be doing a classic volcano project. Um, what I've done here is I have a tray with some foil on it to catch some of the mess that's going to happen. Um, ahead of time, I made the volcano out of four small cans of Play-Doh. You can use more or less Play-Doh, whatever colors you have, and that would actually be a fun activity to do with your toddler. Have them help you make the volcano itself, make the mountain. Just be sure to poke a, a hole in the top so that you can put the baking soda into it. So that's what I'm going to do next. I have some baking soda already in this cup and you can, depending on how your toddler is, you can have them help you put some in there, okay? And then once you add the vinegar, that's going to have the chemical reaction take place. So you can, if optionally, add some food coloring to your vinegar if you want. I'm going to add a little bit of food coloring just to make my eruption a little more fun. All right, so spin that around a little bit. All right, maybe even do a countdown with your toddler. Three, two, one. And you're gonna watch your volcano erupt. And once again, they might love to hear that fizzing sound. They're probably going to wanna do it multiple times. You can just put a little more baking soda in there and some more vinegar and you can do it repeatedly. All right, so one thing you also might wanna do is look at pictures online of volcanoes Maybe watch some videos so they can make that connection to real life. Um, and have fun building your volcano and watching it erupt. For our third toddler science activity, toddler steam activity, we're going to make fireworks in a, in a glass. So I started with filling a glass about three fourths of the way with cold water. This works a little bit better with cold water. <clears throat> and I have my food coloring ready and some cooking oil. So now I'm just going to top this off with a thin layer of food coloring. You'll probably want to do this step. 
And because of uh, the fact that cooking oil or oil is less dense than water, it will float directly to the top. Even just this part might um, pique the interest of your toddler because of all the bubbles and the fact that the cooking oil sits on top like that. So what you're going to do now is allow your child to take the food coloring, put drops in and watch what happens. Now we'll start with this one. Just put about three or four drops in and then you're going to watch and see what happens. Now the drops of the food coloring at this point are kind of settled, you know, at the bottom layer of the oil, but eventually they're going to fall down into the water and make some fun little color bursts. So it will take a little time. It's also a good lesson in patience. I'm going to put a little bit more in there and then we're going to check back in with this in a couple minutes. You can see the fireworks start to form. So you'll see a couple minutes later the fireworks are forming because the food coloring is moving down. There's another burst of color from one I put in a couple minutes ago. And you'll see that this is very similar to the lava lamp experiment that I did not too long ago. What's nice about this is it doesn't require the Alka-Seltzer tablets, but it still is fun to look at. And um, I know my, my niece Abby really liked the lava lamp experiment, so I'm sure some, some young ones out there will enjoy watching these fireworks too. And you can keep doing this over and over. You can even um, get a new glass going and do the same activity and compare the two. So there you have it, three science activities you can do at home with your toddler. We really hope you guys have fun doing some of these experiments. Even share them with us, some pictures or photos, uh, videos in the comments. We would love to see how you and your young one did with these experiments. Um, you can download and print out this lab sheet that shows you all the materials and the steps and how to create these science activities at home. And also there are some other resources at the end that you can use to help you find even more if you would like to explore this further. Um, even some of the activities that Challenger has posted before on our Facebook page and on our website can be adapted for toddlers. Like the sensory bottle here I did make with my niece Abby once before. You could do a galaxy in a jar. We discussed that lava lamp thing that I did previously. Officer Emma has a great video with a lot of rainbow experiments, including magic milk, that would be great for your toddler. So we encourage you to keep doing some science with your toddler and have them get introduced to it at an early age because it's never too young. So we thank you for joining us today, and everyone at Challenger invites you to stay safe and stay curious.